Yes, uh, hello and welcome back to TET. Now, it's the market review. That's the stock market review. And I have with me Ambrose uh, Mordion, uh, who is a stock analyst. Uh, uh, he analyzes stocks. Uh, he does a lot of uh, analysis on it. Uh, and I think he's somebody who you should also consult to help you in that area of uh, stock uh, and trading. Well, welcome, Amodion. I'm Bruce. Hope you are Thank there. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Thank you for all having right, me. All right. Yeah. Now, the market uh, this week, uh, um, how would you describe it? Up, down, bearish, or bullish? No, I would say it's a, it's a mixed market driven by you no know, sell off in high cap stocks and the positioning you know, in the medium cap stock ahead of the uh, quarter end and the uh, you know, half year earnings season in July. For me, it's a, a good market. There's no cause for alarm because the market is just oscillating to create opportunity for new entrants. For me, it's good. Yeah. So the market was cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, it was down, but the the market you know, losing for the week doesn't need to send panic to anybody because it's expected. When you see high cap stocks, you no know, shedding price, so a lot of people are moving out from those high cap to stock the see opportunity, and that is the trend of equity market. Anywhere in the world, market does remain up or down. It was delayed to create opportunity for people to buy low and sell high. It's a good trend for me. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, Looking at the insecurity situation in Nigeria, uh, don't, uh, is it not in any way affecting the market? Yeah, actually, I tell you that, you know, anywhere in the world, there's kind of different challenges in an economy. Yes, it might have impact on the, on the market, but I'll tell you that traders in the market are trading with that, uh, those uh, news for now, because the challenges is not new in Nigeria. We have this same security for a long time. It's just because the, the tense or the, you know, the mood that is now is becoming a bit worrisome. But I'll still tell you that it's not affecting the capital market, but the companies that are operating in those areas, especially those that are into farm, might be affected. And also the, the um, inflation, which uh, even though it has declined for two quarter, uh, two months now, you know, for from uh, April and May, we we'll expect that it's still going to affect you know, the inflation um, price because if uh, the farmers are not in the farm because of insecurity, I'll tell you, if they are most trade, uh, you know, uh, most people that is affected is from those that are in the farm because these uh, you know, bandits, they are moving around the bush and for that, people can have access to their farm. But for all those companies that are operating you know, you know, in the urban area, in the cities, yes, it might, it might not affect the operation, but apart from when it comes to movement, but for me, the insecurity has been part of this nation for a long time. Really that the, the rate is becoming you no know, you know, threatening. That is why we're all complaining now. But I believe traders are also factoring in. But if the company numbers that not much. Uh, all right. Uh, now, some, some uh, companies seems to be consistently news diving in the market. And some are, are just in the upward trend. What seems to be the causes, uh, you know, with these uh, companies? And... Uh, are their shareholders and not having some kind of apathy? No, no, no. Anywhere in the in the world, they have different factors driving uh, equity at different moments or you no know, period. As as you just said, now those companies that have rallied up, I said they are high cap stocks. They are moved at a time also they move up, and since they move up, then they stay there. But for now, seeing that the minor, the market uh, you know dynamic and also the changing environment is changing. No, people are selling off those stocks that have rallied before now to enter those that are still building a new trend to go up, and that is the style of investment. And the ones that are coming down, investors have made money before now, they are just taking profit to enter another one to, and to join another rally, which for me is a good one. But the good thing is that any player in the market, whether you're an investor or a trader, it is time to invest with knowledge. It's not a time to follow the bad wagon, you no, know, if you have to make your decision. Understand what you are doing in the market and also set a goal for yourself a target and when you set a goal that goal will guide the kind of stock you pick and when you meet your target is meet don't be don't uh, don't be greedy you know you have set to make 20 percent 18 percent 15 percent don't see it's still going to go to 40 in the, in the process the market will turn against you just be guided with your investment objective your strategy and also to have tools to always guide you when you are investing yeah well um, well, um, um look, looking at uh, the portfolio investors and uh, you know some people who are trading from the outside and everything and uh, yes you talked about uh, insecurity on how it also impacts on the economy um the that part where those people now feel the money we are putting in here is it making any sense uh, um 
is he not in any way hampering the, uh, uh, the, the, the market movement on how it moves? Because I know even there's some other factors that are affecting it, like the COVID-19, that's the new wave now. But uh, how does this sense impact on the portfolio investors? No, the, for me, if you, if you want to bring the COVID-19, it, it's also a plus for the market. No, COVID-19 has also affected some plus. certain... Yeah, so it affected some, some certain in the economy, no, positively, while some are complaining. But I will tell you, because of the intervention of the government, especially the CBN and the, and the federal government, you know, that also was seen in a little, you know, whether it's, it's weak, but we are seeing recovery in the economy because they took intervention you know, you know, in critical sector. For me, there's no cause for alarm. saying i said okay. uh, how do you you know assume that uh, um the pandemic the second wave of the pandemic that is uh, the covid 19 pandemic is actually impacting positively on the market i mean what, what's your assumption how do you come to this not not on the market i say it impacting positively on sector on some sector of the economy not okay, the market on some and sectors the of the economy yeah, the economy. And if those sectors are on the market, also you're going to apply them positively on the market. If you look at our health sector today, before now, government attention to that sector is low. But because of COVID-19, you can see that there's you no know, attention in that sector. Government giving a credit at a, a lower you know, rate. At the same time, you know, encouraging that the, the most of the top government should look inward, traveling out, you no know, reduce for that. That means we patronize our no industry, the healthcare sector in Nigeria, that will also improve activities in those sectors, especially you no know, the, the 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 healthcare sector where the, the governors are planning, I think that we should look inward and produce our own vaccine to address issue. That means those sectors will have fun to produce those vaccines. For me, it's a plus for those sectors. That means if not COVID nineteen, attention will not be given to that sector. That's why I said COVID nineteen is also like a plus or a blessing in this guy for a Nigeria healthcare sector because it is this time that government has to give them attention. For me, it's a plus for them. Uh, so some of these uh, countries are, you know, listed that's on the health sector, like uh, I, don't, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to mention some names of some of these companies that are supposed to be proactive in the era or in the area of the vaccination. That's a new vaccination expected. I know some countries uh, like uh, India, um, you know, uh, even China, they are all producing uh, vaccines. Malaysia is also producing vaccines now. Some companies, there are some of these companies that are here in this country, and uh, it, it seems not to be going that way. Uh, what is happening? No, they are going that way already, but they are waiting for mobilization. Like the, uh, the forum, uh, the governor forum said, oh, federal government don't depend on importation from uh, outside. Let's look inward. And if they're looking inward, most of the companies here are already set. Companies like uh, you know, me and Baker, Fixin, GSK, they are set even to produce going to vaccine uh, production for that. I see that when they are mobilized any moment from now, they can go ahead and start producing. That means we will we'll not depend less on importing uh, vaccine from other, you know, other climate. For me, it's a good one for, for the sector, and that also keeps the sector active. And don't forget that you know, healthcare sector anywhere, anytime is very important to the economic growth because as you are giving birth, people are getting aged. That, uh, and that, you know, the ones that are giving birth, they need drugs to grow. The ones that are getting aged, they need drugs to keep them alive. For me, you know, it's a sector that will be up and running. If government is giving them attention now, that means investors that are thinking long and uh, all those smart, invest, uh, smart traders should also look at their chart and know how to take position. And that sector, for me, the COVID-19 is a blessing to Nigeria health care sector. Before now, that sector has been like beaten down. No more of one, but now we can see that activities are coming there and also the numbers were seen so that also there's activity that means for me as i said earlier it's a plot to to the healthcare sector yeah the the, the covid 19 that second wave third wave first wave is a plus for that sector yeah thank you so much uh, you. for your time uh, sorry for the little hiccups in the in the network uh, um i'm sure by the next time we'll have a very hitch free you know interview and yes. thank you so much, yeah. uh, Ambrose Omodion. Uh, he's a, a stock uh, uh, analyst that uh, he's also good at, uh, you know, helping to help analyze uh, stocks. And in case you need some form of advice in that regard, please maybe you contact him.
And uh, yes, that's the much we can take on the TET today and on the market review today. I'm George Wadusi. I'll see you some other time.